Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn Anyone channel. So let's today we will discuss about SAP on Mac system. So we will discuss today how we can configure SAP GUI on SAP Mac system. And also we'll see how to log in into Mac operating system. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so let's assume you have already installed SAP GUI in your Mac operating system. So how you can check it, whether it is SAP GUI are installed in your Mac operating system. You can see there is a launch pad over here. Okay, just click on launch pad and you can search over here, SAP GUI. You can see here, okay, already we have SAP GUI installed in uh, our Mac system. So if you want to know how we can install, download and install SAP GUI in your Mac operating system, please, you can see my previous video, okay? So let's, if, if it is already installed, just double click on this, okay, SAP GUI, okay? So you can see here, your SAP GUI already opened over here, okay? You can go file and open this SAP logon over here. So you can see SAP GUI is opened over here, okay? So now I am going to configure it, okay? How we can uh, connect SAP configurations, okay? To connect SAP systems, okay? On Mac operating systems, okay? So let's see here, select connections and cl click over here, new, okay? Now you can see over here, you can see over, we will have a description, descriptions. You can put, okay, ECC, SAP ECC, okay. And connection types, you can see either WebDyne Pro or ABAP. Web okay, so I am selecting here Web as a ABAP, okay. And now you can see here the initial uh, tab, you can say system, okay. If you have any system informations, you can put it over here, okay. If any message server, if you have it, if you have any group or message server, you can put it here. If in case any router, you can put it here. If in case, if you have your low speed of your internet connection, so automatically it would be connected, okay? So if in such lower a speed of your uh, internet, then you can select this one, otherwise it's not required, okay? Now come to the second window that is uh, tab that is log on, okay? If in case, if you know, the client username language and transactions okay you can put it over here otherwise you can skip this tab third type called the security okay so security basically trust cl uh, clarification so you can see select over here internal general trust does not require any extensive privileges okay you can select over this okay okay now you can see mm, rest uh, network preference would be okay disable this is not required as of now okay now let's go for the next tab that is called languages so by default you have to select here unicode because all of the sap system okay it is in unicode so that's why it is by default is uh, selected if in case your system is not unicoded does not select this one okay now here second option called automatic code pages okay so you can see here by default is languages Okay, already are, okay, and you can see Mac already system are there, Java encoded, okay. So these are the, okay, by default it would be there, okay, no changes happening, okay. Now last tab that is advanced, which is most important, okay. Here you have to expert setting, okay. You have to put it the expert setting, like expert, okay. Before going to expert setting or configuration of your SAP UI, okay you have to make sure okay so should we check this one okay once check this expert mode automatically that would the window is editable you can add or you can add something okay example let's me okay i'll show you here okay you can see here already okay so connections there is some parameter over here you can see this is a parameter okay so how you can configure your parameter let's your example let me Tell you one of the example. Let's see. This is we have a server. Okay, ECC server, functional server. This is the IP address. Okay, and this is your instance number and this is your system ID. Okay, so how this uh, configuration you can add in Mac operating system? Okay, on SAP GUI. Okay, so let's see here. 
okay i'll tell you how to do it okay so you can see here connections that is okay then what you need to do after connections that is h okay you have to give here some h okay slash h okay it is in capital slash okay then you have to give the ip address okay so let's see this is here ip address just copy this ip address okay and you have to give here you can paste your ip address okay then that is s okay that is capital s and then 32 and two digit is 32 and rest is system id okay so you can just check it over here system id you can see that is we have a 66 id okay you can put it over here 66 okay now you can save this one okay now i have saved this one okay so once save you can see here that is already is connected okay just double click in sap eccc it is already uh, connected your system now you have to give the detail of your login so whatever the login you have it let's see i have a this one okay and just sap one two three yes see you have connected your sap ecc system is connected okay if you want to check it let's see sc11 and check your some some table mara or something okay so let's i'll show you once okay it's successfully connected or not yeah you can see all the okay sap okay is connected successfully so this is how okay we have a connected the sap view systems okay and configure it this is how we can configure sap systems okay in mac operating systems okay so please okay uh check it okay if in case required any additional uh help please write a mail to us okay please like this uh this uh sessions and definitely you should subscribe this for futures okay if in case any query please uh, okay mail us on this okay thanks thank you for watching this video